Good afternoon, Sharks. I'm Tyler Smart. And I'm Lexi Shuck. And before we get started, I just have to ask, Tyler, where did you get that tie? You know, I actually got it for a Christmas present last year. Do you have no idea where you got it at? I have no clue. I guess I'll have to look around for it. Or, I can use our new app, Where Are Those? What, with Where Are Those? You just, if you see a clothing item you like, you can just take a picture of it, put it into the app, and it can tell you where you can get it. It just uses a mile range, and you can do 25 to however many you need just to find the store that sells a certain clothing item in your line. Um, basically, what it's going to look like is the main screen is the bigger one in, on the far left, and we're going to put advertisements in the middle to kind of get a little bit more money. And advertisements help the store, it helps the customer, and it helps us. Um, if they know that tie, they find out it's at Walmart, and we've got a coupon for 20% off Walmart, then, then they get a deal with the tie. And just simply just take a picture of it, put it into the app, and it'll tell you where, where the store's at and where they can get it at. So nowadays, social media is the rage. Everybody's on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And within two weeks, we got about 50 likes. In the first week alone, we got the majority of those. We've act we were actually in seven states and three different countries, including Germany and Belgium. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> and we got 27 likes, or uh, likes on Instagram in one week. And it doubled to it doubled to 41 in just or within the next three days. It was a pretty quick jump. And of course, where's the money? So the biggest part of the business is, of course, the money. Um, it takes about $8,000 to $12,000 to make the app, roughly around there. And we're going to make it a free app with, with, it just has clothing items. But if you can upgrade it to a $199 premium package, where you can put in a bracelet or um, a scarf or something of that region, shoes, um, and then, of course, the advertisement, like I talked about earlier, that's going to help a lot with making a little bit extra money. And with just the app, just with the premium upgrades, it only makes about 25000 a year. But since we're putting advertisements in it, the businesses themselves are paying for those. That jumps the profit way up to about 100000 a year. And we're really looking to sell to primarily females, ages 13 to about 24, because they're all about fashion. What about app like this? <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely available. <laughs> so with that being said, are the stores that are going to be in the app, were they only like Route 21 and that kind of stuff? Or will they include uh, like men's warehouse and stuff like that? It will include ma or most major clothing stores. It's not going to have any of the little boutiques or anything like that, but anything that's major and that's a chain and it's everywhere it'll have. Like Kohl's, Route 21. How often will that update? Because you know, fashion moves pretty quick. <laughs> uh, I'm really not sure. We haven't really thought about that far. Quickly though, it'll update quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Are you and, gonna, oh, I'm sorry. Are you going to try to upgrade to two boutiques and things like that because what if, uh, for example, someone has something on that you really like to have and they don't have those in the chain stores, so would you eventually up, maybe have an upgrade for um, yes, those kinds of things? Yes, we can definitely upgrade to boutiques and get into the smaller things if they're definitely selling big things lots of people are wearing them and it's going to try and of course we'll upgrade to those. It would definitely take a lot more time to get yeah. to all the different little boutiques themselves though. So. But, Anyway, um, our competition is, where did you get that? It's not our app online, or on the app store, but it doesn't necessarily let you take pictures and search them. It basically shows you what gifts would be good for, let's say, your best friend or your boyfriend. It shows you a good variety of different things you can buy, but it doesn't allow you to actually search where those things are at or take where the store pictures. is or anything like that. Yeah, it doesn't allow you to take you pictures at all. Take, you can't find the specific tie we use in this app. You can just use, maybe you can find a tie somewhere, but not the exact one. And so, with that said, we only have one question for you. Where are those? So, the question I have for you is, is the technology in the app, is it in a barcode, is it in the, uh, is it in the, the tag on the inside of the jacket? Is it is it actually just in the picture itself. 
on Google, you can search any kind of picture, and if it pops up on that store's website or anywhere, it'll pop up on there if you just use Google search. So if you search this exact store and you find out it was from Kohl's, and it's on Kohl's website, it'll come up. And how are you going to market this particular app? Is just through the App Store or through? Yeah, just through yeah, just through Apple through the App Store. Through iOS, and then eventually we could probably move it onto Android. Yeah. Definitely use that so more social media, get out there more, get our presence really well known, get more people talking about it. We're almost global, so. <laughs> we're already in Belgium, so we already made it. <laughs> we got some Belgium, yeah. so I think that's a, that's a win. Are those people you know, or don't you know? Oh. It's actually because of Philip. Yeah. Oh. German exchange student. Okay. He actually got the word out. Oh, okay. Some of those countries. Okay. Oh, okay. So your startup cost, um, they yeah. 12000 yes. uh, yeah. These, This is the, the, the technology, the engineer, the, the, the program writers. That's, yes. that's what you're talking yes. about, right? Yes, that's everything that's included in that. And with this more high-tech app, it would probably be on the upper range of that with the technology actually needed and to have it completely developed. No question so you could be using software similar like the FBI's face recognition in order to recognize clothing and then yes. search it again. Something like that. Uh, regarding your social media, I feel like that's working well for you. So what is, what is your plan to handle that negative comments and the reviews? What will you do when someone say it says this app stinks, I would use it. What, what is your plan to handle this? Well, maybe we can message them back and ask what, what makes it stink, what makes it not work the way you want it to work, and maybe we can upgrade it and make it better for everybody. Take all criticisms as stepping stones to just make it better. Mm -hmm. Could you take that into consideration on the money part as far as you know, having someone to uh, control that or be able to take controls of that and manage that? Yes, we have to actually probably hire someone to monitor all that and make sure that they're pleasing everybody. If you, um, if you could go back six weeks, four or five weeks, and start this project again, same app. What, what would you do to really prepare for the day? I honestly probably would have. One of the guys I work with right now, he's actually an app designer. He has apps that are on the iOS market right now. I would have gotten with him sooner, so he actually could have tried to develop this app itself, so we would actually have a prototype. But he actually told me it would take <laughs> <laughs> at least six months just yeah. to get this app up and going. Yeah. So. Any more questions for that?